Dr. Mashwari, great to see you. Um, thank you for making the time for this. I think it'll be really helpful for people that are interested in coaching, that are thinking about it, that are on the fence. Um, for starters, would love to just hear, you know, your name, where you live, and your current specialty and role. Sure. Yeah, glad to be here. And uh, my name is Anil Maheshwari. I'm a uh, family physician and obesity medicine physician by training. Uh, practice in the States for many years. And now I live in uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, I'm uh, practicing in a variety of roles, uh, uh, partly at Cleveland Clinic Canada and partly at some private clinics. Great. Um, and leading up to coaching, what did your life look like? And I guess what kind of had you thinking about physician coaching and working with my mom? So the, prior to working with uh, Gail Gazelle, I was in a, a regular family practice. Uh, I had a panel of patients and uh, life was uh, life was a little bit difficult. I wanted to do certain things, but I felt like I was trapped and uh, I wanted to take care of these patients. And yeah. um, I had all these... I guess you could call them limited in beliefs about what I could and couldn't do. And so I just felt like I needed help in figuring out what the next step was and, and I even how to get there. Yeah. When you talk about there being certain things that you really wanted to do that you felt like you couldn't, what were those things? Well, I knew, for example, that I love preventative medicine and I have this now new, a relatively new uh, specialty in obesity medicine. But uh, the way that the payment structure is uh, set up, it, it was hard to make a living do, uh, practicing obesity medicine. And so I just couldn't figure out how to uh, move on from family medicine. And I knew that I wanted to do basically physicals and preventative medicine and obesity medicine and not put out fires all day, but which I've been doing for at that point, uh, about 15 years. Mm -hmm. And so I just thought... Uh, uh, actually more than that, sorry, uh, uh, which I had been doing at that point for 22 years, but I just couldn't figure out how to get to where I really wanted to go. Mm. And in, when you were in that kind of previous role, did, was there any kind of spillover impact that maybe not being satisfied at work had on your family or personal life or any ways that this was showing up outside of work? Yeah, I think that the biggest way was that I was probably very stressed all the time. Mm. Uh, my daughter put it best uh, when she said that you're always on your computer because I was always checking up on uh, following up on results at a huge panel of patients. And and again, doing work that I wasn't uh, enjoying as much as I used to in the past. Right. So life was stressful, I would I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and kind of pivoting to coaching, how did you find Dr. Gazelle, my mom, um, and and what were you know your thoughts, your doubts? How were you feeling going into the process? Yeah, so uh, when I decided that uh, I needed to find a way to look at things differently, I decided to look for a physician coach, and I really plugged in the uh, search term "physician coach" into Google. Yeah. And even though I live in Canada, um, Gail Gazelle's name came up uh, near the top, if not the top. I think she was number one on the list. And um, But I did my due diligence and I looked at all the top, whatever, 10 results or so. And I mean, her website was just so impressive. I and mean, she put all her experience there. There were video clips and um, I know she had uh, written a book. And so I got very comfortable through all this material getting to, felt like I knew Gail by the end. Uh, and all the other sites, unfortunately, did not have very much except a little paragraph on the websites. And so I really couldn't get an idea of how, whether they were good or not. And so I decided to take a chance on Gail because I was, I just, I could see the material and I could see that she was good at what she did. And I'm really, really happy that I did. It's beautiful. Well, um, on that sort of happy note, what does life look like now? What were um, the big benefits that you got from coaching? Yeah, so I, um, Gail helped me through a lot of different things. Uh, Gail helped me through a lot of different things, including figuring out, um, you know, there's a mindset around change. And she helped me uh, with that mindset because I there's a lot of fear involved uh, in making changes. And so she helped me see that, um, you know, the, the place that I was was uh, not a good place, that, that I had more choices than I thought I did. And, 
you know, the great thing about coaching and especially the way Gail does it is that she gets you to uh, figure things out on your own. Uh, and that's what great coaches do. They ask you the right questions and you realize, hmm, there are more choices than I thought I had. And so I figured out that uh, I could uh, make the change. And gradually she helped me uh, with that, uh, get get into that mindset. And then also she, when it came down to it, she actually helped me a little bit with the business plan as well of how I would uh, wow. generate income that I wanted to generate. Wow. You talked about your daughter kind of in the, the before section. What, you know, if any, how did your family impact or, or kind of see the impact that came from coaching? I think that they saw a big difference in how happy I was or wow. am uh, and continue to be. Uh, I am more available to do things with people. Uh, I am uh, less stressed about being on the computer all the time. And the biggest thing is I enjoy my work. I think one of the biggest telltale signs is that now I will often come home from work and share stories of successes and uh, just interesting stories about patients and whatnot. Whereas earlier when I was going through my struggles, I, I, you know, I didn't want to talk about work at all. I would come home and and either do more work or just yeah. not talk about it, talk about anything else but work. Yeah. So I think that's a huge, huge telltale sign of yeah. how much better life is. Absolutely. Yeah. I think a lot of physicians um, are skeptical about this whole coaching thing. And even for me, working really closely with my mom for the last couple of years, I'm not even exactly sure what goes on in coaching sessions. So what would you say was so powerful about coaching or Maybe what would you say to that physician that's a little bit skeptical about getting a coach? Yeah, you know, it's hard because we're we're trained to be a certain way and uh, and this feels very airy-fairy. Maybe mm -hmm. uh, it feels like I don't, why, why, why would I need this kind of thing? Um, but really what coaching, it can, I mean, it's a different thing for different people, but it can provide you with uh it helps you get insight into yourself basically and your situation. And so we're, we're often trapped in our own thinking. We're trapped in thinking things are a certain way and there's no way out. And what a good coach like Gail does is she, she helped me see all the possibilities and realize that uh, my thinking was so limited. Uh, and the great thing is they don't tell you, Gail didn't tell me anything. She helped me figure it out on my own. And that's what good coaching is. Yeah. Yeah. And so to that physician that's, you know, maybe watching this and on the fence about coaching, what would you say to them? I would say, uh, take a chance. You're worth it. If you have, if you are at the point where you're watching this, you probably are very close to wanting to sign up with Gail. And I would say that, um, you know, I, she's, she's incredible. I mean, she's just, she will help you. Um, you just have to take a chance. Like it's, I know it's not, it's not science based uh, like we're used to, but there is something to be said for managing our emotions and our mindsets and things like that, that we were never taught in medical school and, and coaches can uh, help you figure things out. And Gail is one of the best at it. So I would say, take a chance and do it. 